All right, guys. So we've been reading some nonfiction articles. You've read a couple so far, um, and they are all organized in a type of text structure. So we're going to spend a little bit of time today talking about text structure. OK, it's the pattern of text, how it's organized. Right. Beginning, middle, end, cause and effect, um, chronological. And we'll go through all those here in a second. OK, so what is text structure? It's how text is organized or constructed, how it's put together, how it's built, how the author wants you to understand information. Okay, we study text structure to help our analysis and deepen our understanding of what we read, right? So when we understand how a book is put together, how an article is put together, it makes it easier for us to read it and understand it, okay? Understanding how and why the author used a certain text structure can help you analyze and then respond to questions like author's purpose, the main idea, the central idea, argument, things that we've been working on all year in graphic organizers. OK. OK, so we're going to talk about uh, types of text structure. OK, there are six different types of text structures for our our our, our argument. I'm going to show you a video that shows you five types of text structures. OK, but for right now, we're going to talk about six. They most often occur in nonfiction or informational text, but not always. Okay, so you've got chronological or narrative organization. So things happen in order, like Frederick Douglass's story, A Long Walk to Water, different things like that. You've got sequence or process, first, second, third, fourth. You've got compare and contrast, where you're comparing two or more things. Okay, you've got cause and effect. So this happened, which resulted in this happening. You got a problem and solution. We present a problem and you give a solution, right? You guys wrote a problem and solution thing for your seventh grade writing assignment a couple weeks before we uh, fell into all this coronavirus stuff. Okay. Then you got main idea and descriptions. They give you a uh, the main idea and then they describe what's going on with that. Okay. Our first one is chronological or narrative. Okay. So text is organized in terms of time. First, next, then, finally, before. It's going in order. Chrono equals time, chronological, right? It's often found in fictional text or narrative nonfiction. Narrative nonfiction is like Frederick Douglass, something that is true, but it was told like a story. Okay. Our next one is sequence or process. So our information is organized in steps. Think about like almost like following instructions. Okay. It's a nonfiction or informational text. Some keywords you're going to look for first, next, last, then, finally, before, right? Giving you some order to things as you read through it, right? Problem and solution. Here's the problem. The difficulty is it is impossible to if then statements like if this happens, then this happens. A challenge, therefore, some keywords you can see there, right? So we're going to present you a problem, right? And it may lead to a solution. Okay. Oh, sorry. Cause and effect, right? You have some similar things here where you are, it's, and these two are very similar, which is why we put them on the same slide, right? You have your cause and your effect. So this leads to this, right? This happened, therefore, this happened, right? I ate way too much candy, therefore, my teeth rotted out of my mouth, right? I never took a shower, therefore, I smelled like garbage, right? You get that? Okay, so compare and contrast. This one's easy. We've been doing this all year. You are comparing and contrasting items, right? Similar to juxtaposing, right? We talked about juxtaposing with Salva and Nia and how they were compared and contrasted throughout the story, how they were how they were juxtaposed. And then the main idea and description. This is what you've kind of been reading about in your uh, articles about the brain science so far. You're reading about a topic, an idea, a person, a place, a thing. Um, it's described by its features and characteristics. So you're going to look for the topic to be repetitive, right? So if we talked about brains not developing for teenagers, it was mentioned in every paragraph and a different thing was described in each paragraph. But the main idea was that teenagers' brains are not developed as fast as adults, okay? So you're going to see some keywords there like, for instance, such as to begin with, and you see the rest, okay? So those are the six that we're working for. You're also going to watch a video that has five. I'm not too worried about you knowing if there's five, six, seven, anything like that. Um, just be aware of which ones are. So this, I will post this video of the PowerPoint as well as the PowerPoint so that you can view both if you get stuck when you're working on something.